with a high of 96, but cooler, wetter weather perhaps by tomorrow. It's now time for a look at instant traffic with Erin Anthony. And good morning. Got a stall 18 wheeler causing some problems, or actually a little slight delays. If you're traveling I-45, he is southbound at Shepherd. He lost a wheel, so please be patient. You'll find it slow I-45, the Gulf Freeway, northbound as you travel across 59. 59 Southwest Freeway is going to slow for you at the West Loop. And 290 slows between the Sam Houston Tollway and Gessner Road. Our instant traffic view of that 18 wheeler again it reports that he lost his wheel up there, but no major delays as you travel inbound on I 45 elsewhere around town. Another instant traffic view you're looking at the North Sam Houston Tollway, and that's what it looks like at the Hardy Toll Road. That's instant traffic. Now let's check in with Melinda in Sky Fox. And we have been traveling this morning. We've been following the belt around town. We haven't seen any major problems to speak of. Right now we're over 290, the Northwest Freeway. We're outside of 1960. Right now there's not a whole lot of problems out here. But once you get in a little bit closer to the belt, it starts to stack up. In fact, even at West Road, it starts to stack up. So if you travel this freeway, you know by now you have to leave in plenty of extra time. Live in Sky Fox, I'm Melinda Brand, Fox 26 News. A frantic night for a Dickinson family when a five-year-old boy disappears. An Amber Alert had been issued, but this morning it was canceled. Fox 26 reporter Todd DePlantis is live in Dickinson to explain why. Good morning, Todd. Good morning. It was a long night for the Byerly family, the uh, Dickinson family's child. Five-year-old Christopher was missing for about 20 hours, just reunited with the family. Shortly after 5 o'clock this morning, we've got some pictures of that reunion that happened. Now, his family, uh, his father and his parents, say it all started around 8 o'clock yesterday morning when Christopher there left home with a family friend. Apparently, the two were going off to get something to eat. They never returned. Hours later, Christopher's stepmother began to get uh, very, very uh, anxious. They called Texas Equisearch, called the police. We're told that 29-year-old Daryl Shaver had Christopher the whole time. He's a family friend. He's known the family, we're told, for 10 years. They've never had any problems with him. However, they learned overnight while Christopher was missing that Daryl is a crack addict. They also uh, learned that the child uh, was at the grandmother's house. And here's what his stepmom had to say about what happened. He was asleep on the couch at Daryl's grandmother's house. And Daryl's uncle, which is an awesome man and we owe him a whole lot, went looking for him and trapped his car into the apartments and called 911. Now, we're told as Daryl was walking out of the apartment, uh, once again, we're here at the Texas Equisearch headquarters, we're told that apparently he had a shotgun in his hand wrapped in a blanket. Christopher, as you heard, was sleeping soundly inside the apartment. His grandmother lived in the apartment. We're told she's elderly, she's hearing impaired. She had no idea Christopher was missing. Uh, he has been returned with his parents. He is safe. And uh, this morning, we're told that uh, Shaver is facing charges uh, for burglary of his grandmother's house. He's not facing kidnapping charges charges, at least for now. However, this case is still under investigation. For now, we're live in Dickinson. I'm Todd Duplantis, Fox 26 News. New this morning, the search is on for two missing brothers. 11-year-old Donovan, Donovan Cox and his 10-year-old brother Christian were last seen Monday afternoon around 3 o'clock. They were walking towards Linkwood Park, but never returned home and their family has not heard from them. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of these two brothers is asked to call HPD's Missing Persons Unit at 713-731-5223. Also new this morning, gunfire erupts during an undercover drug deal in southwest Houston. Undercover officers were attempting to buy drugs from a couple in a car when the driver stepped on the accelerator while reaching for a weapon. Police opened fire on the car, but neither the man nor the woman were shot. The woman was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. A shooting in a home in Sugarland leaves an 18-year-old man dead. Investigators say 18-year-old Michael Garcia was shot during some type of altercation between several males at the home. He was taken to Sugarland Methodist, where he was pronounced dead. There's no word yet on how many people were involved in the shooting. Police are searching for suspects. A Maryland judge will decide today whether to set bail for the man accused of killing Baylor basketball player Patrick Dennehy. The athlete's former roommate, Carlton Dotson, was arrested Monday in Maryland. Investigators say they made the arrest based on information Dotson gave them, but, the dot, but Dotson denies confessing to the crime. Dennehy has been missing since mid-June. So far, his body has not been found. Be sure to stay tuned to Fox 26. Coming up on Fox 26 News at noon, 
Domelie Keith is live in Waco with the latest on this developing story. Everyone from well-known public figures to past girlfriends are speaking out on the Kobe Bryant sexual assault case. Bryant's coach, Phil Jackson, says he's saddened by the charges but supports the athlete. And former Lakers player Magic Johnson says he too loves and supports Kobe. He made a mistake. He's apologized to his wife. Um, we all make mistakes in our lives. Some folks in Venice have even painted a free Kobe mural. Meanwhile, Eagle County, the, in the Eagle County District Attorney, says he can prove Bryant sexually assaulted the 19-year-old woman, and the alleged victim's friends say the woman is relieved that Bryant has been charged. More than 100 people gather for an emotional candlelight vigil at a Clear Lake home where three young adults were shot to death. Friends of Tiffany Raul, Rachel Colorotis, Marcus Priscilla, and Aldelbert Sanchez gathered in front of Raul's home, the same place the four were found shot to death last Friday. Those gathered for the vigil say it was a way to remember, reflect, and share their grief. I wanted to know that I was here and that I really am going to miss her, and I hope she's always going to be watching me. So far, there's no motive or suspect in the shooting. Another American soldier is killed in the efforts to rebuild Iraq. The U.S. military reports the soldier was killed and another one injured when they came under attack in an area where support for Saddam Hussein has been the strongest. Nearly 200 former Iraqi political prisoners stage a protest on the streets of Iraq. They say they want to play a major role in Iraq's future leadership. And the Pentagon hopes to announce plans to rotate soldiers that would provide relief to troops in Iraq. Some members of Congress are calling for the Pentagon to increase the size of the U.S. military's presence there. Every flag they can find is flying in Work County, West Virginia this morning, ready to welcome home Jessica Lynch. And about every satellite truck on the East Coast is in that town as well, waiting to carry her description of her capture and rescue during the early days of the Iraqi war. Now, Private Lynch is to be released from the Army Hospital in Washington, Walter Reed Army Hospital in Washington, then head back home to her hometown where they've been, they've made everything just right for an American hero. Kind of staying doubled up here and definitely trying to keep things stocked up, keep pop, plenty of cold pop for everybody. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll have a full report as Elizabeth City, West Virginia gets ready to welcome home a local hero. Galveston's state of emergency is extended for another week as residents try to recoup from Hurricane Claudette. State emergency management officials think the federal government could set up an aid program for residents soon, maybe sometime today. If that happens, keep this number handy, 800-621-FEMA. And remember, you have to get a permit to rebuild in Galveston. Call the city at 409-797-3660. Move over, residents of River Oaks. Some local dogs have found something much better. Lanny Griffith is live at Rover Oaks, a doggy resort. Good morning, Lanny. Hi, guys. I'm holding my two little friends here. We just uh, grabbed these real quick, and uh, they're having a good time this morning. They were anxious to get out of their little, uh, their suite, their luxury suite. I'm joined by Jim Burwell here. Jim, you have these luxury suites here at Rover Oaks. What is the uh, significance of decorating the, the rooms the way they're decorated? Because they're gorgeous. Well, we had uh, some clients that were interested in in participating in decorating these luxury suites to match a theme or decor either in their home or just a theme, you know, that they came up with. And uh, so we worked up a sponsorship program and uh, it took off like uh, like a rocket. Well, we were in the uh, King Pup's room a minute ago. The box were there. We also have coming up Roman holidays and we have all kinds of beautiful backdrops with the Ozarks and the mountains and so forth. This is the red, white and blue and we chose the Patriot to kick off this morning. So we're down at Rover Oaks, and it's a dog resort, and they have day camp here and all kinds of good programs for, for cats and dogs. So enjoy uh, the, today's show. And my little friend here is enjoying being on camera, Jose and Tazlin. Can you tell him? I think he's really a ham. Oh, he certainly <laughs> is. You know, that's a good way for you to you know, have some peace of mind when you go on vacation. Yeah, yes, this is where the animals come when, when their owners are going on vacation. Okay. It's a nice right. place to stop off at on your way to Europe. Sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Lenny. Time now is 7.09, and we have much more in the works on Fox 26 Morning News. New information on a story you saw first on Fox, a Houston firefighter who says he was forced to wear a wig. 
in some of the bloodiest fighting, a U.S. security team has arrived in Liberia. Will U.S. troops follow? Blowing the lid off antiques on the next Decor and More. Looks like another sizzler here in Houston. Your Tuesday forecast is coming up. You're watching Fox 26 Morning News with Jose and Toslin, live with Lanny, Matt's Weather, and Newsroom Updates with Patty Shea. This news segment is brought to you by McDonald's. There are certain rules for being a guy, like never touch another man's remote, always wait two days to call, and of course, never pass up a chance with twins. Well guys, right now at McDonald's, we've got twin beefy Big Macs for just $2.22. Or if you'd like to wake up to twins, drag it out of bed and get to McDonald's for two sausage McMuffins with egg for $2.22. So, hurry into McDonald's today. Just remember, you have to be outside to call shotgun. Now you can really light things up in a cool looking Cavalier with $4,000 cash back. Or get 0% APR financing for 60 months. And if that's not enough, we'll throw an XM satellite radio with hardware activation and three months of service. Cavalier and XM, lighting it up. Chevy, drive in Texas. First mortgage interest rates can change daily, but there's one place that guarantees your rate won't change. You got the green light. The rate you see is the rate you'll pay. And the closing cost, $995. No points, no other fees. Lock in this great deal now at 866-66-FASTER. 866-66-FASTER. You got the green light. Hi there. Hi there. Two adults, two kids. You got it. That's forty-eight dollars. Alrighty. Oh, now we're up to fifty-four. Right. <laughs> Fifty-nine dollars. What? Okay, now we're at sixty-five. Sixty-five. Well, how, how can it just go up like that? Hey, uh, uh, hang on. Uh, eighty-five dollars. Yeah. You have a credit card? I don't think. So. Hundred dollars. What? Okay, one twenty. I got it. I got it. I got it. Steve. Wow, hundred and fifty. Here, just take it all. Is this what it feels like paying your Reliant electric bill? Enjoy the game. They've increased the rate three times in the last 18 months. And when the rate goes up, the whole bill goes up. Introducing Energy America, part of a company with nearly 1 million customers in Texas. With our guaranteed rate plan, your rate won't go up for the next year. This year, current customers will save an average of $200 over Reliant. $36, please. $42 hot dogs here. Call or visit us online. Switch now and get a free $25 gift card to the Home Depot. $700. Who needs a hot dog? This traffic brought to you by K-Arts Classical Radio. Good morning, Houston. You're looking at a live picture of downtown, courtesy of Sky Fox this morning. The time now is 7.13 on this Tuesday, July 22nd. Powerful storms make a mess in Pennsylvania. It only took about 90 minutes for thunderstorms to dump several inches of rain in Erie, causing flash flooding. The flooding reportedly knocked out a railroad bridge. The cleanup is expected to take several days. Now that same storm left thousands of people without power from Ohio to New York. The winds were powerful enough to knock down power lines and topple trees, even tear up houses and break windows and roofs. The storm is expected to move out of that area and into New England sometime this morning. And we can perhaps expect some rain in our future as well. Matt has more. In fact, it may come from the same cold front that produced the severe weather across the northeast. Uh, we are watching the cold front very carefully. It's still to the north of us right now, right around now, around Arkansas. That's where it is. In fact, watch boxes this morning in Arkansas as that front drops southward toward Texas and toward Houston. Now, the future cast has the front drawing closer, not pushing on through, but it will get close enough to give us a fairly good chance for rain, a 40% chance for showers or storms cooler with the clouds and the rain. Today, though, only a 20% chance late today, 30% tonight, 40% chance for showers tomorrow with the front. 
slightly cooler, high of 93, and then back to partly cloudy and hot for the weekend with a slight chance of showers. Highs back in the mid-90s, lows back middle to upper 70s. It's now time for instant traffic with Aaron Anthony. And good morning. Believe it or not, still just one problem on the roadway. You'll find it on I-45. It is a North Freeway. It's southbound at Shepherd. Got a disabled 18-wheeler in the process of moving over to the shoulder. Katy Freeway is going to slow for you from about Barker Cypress to Gessner Road. If you're traveling in I-10 eastbound, 45, the Gulf Freeway northbound, you'll tap on the brakes as you approach this extended south loop. Our instant traffic view of that problem again. They just moved in from the left to the right shoulder, and traffic again is going to slow for you. It's I-45 southbound, and he's sitting there on the road at Shepherd. Elsewhere around town, the Gulf Freeway at West Dallas heading into downtown is looking good. That's instant traffic. Let's check in once more with Melinda in Skybox. Aaron just told you about the disabled tractor trailer on 45 at Shepherd. Well, I hate to be the bearer of even more bad news. Once you get past that, it doesn't clear up. It's still slow traffic on 45. That's where we are right now, 45 at the loop. As you can see, it's pretty much at a crawl. As you get closer into downtown, it's going to get even worse. Live in Sky Fox, I'm Melinda Brand, Fox 26 News. More than a dozen families lose everything in a three alarm blaze that destroys an entire 16 unit apartment building. The fire spread so fast that firefighters had to pull out and just pour water on it from a distance. You know what's happened when, when we get in there and we try to get inside and put the fire out, when it gets, gets too dangerous for us to be in there, we pull out and what we do, we signal the, the rest of the uh, personnel at the scene that we're going to go defensive, which means we're going to fight the fire from outside. We're one firefighter was treated for minor burns. Apartment managers said they would try and relocate the families in other buildings they operate. A power outage sparks a fire and a chemical leak at a refinery yeah. in southeast Houston. The outage caused the flare system at the Valero plant to release heavy smoke and hydrocarbons into the air on Monday. The company said the chemical posed no major health risk to the surrounding area. The plant has been temporarily shut down. The Houston Fire Department is taking a second look at its dress policy after Fox 26 began asking questions. It's a story you saw first on Fox, and it comes after HFD firefighter Robert Branch revealed he was told by a captain to cut his hair or wear a wig to keep his job. Branch has dreadlocks, and the department says his hairstyle is not within policy. But HFD has formed a committee to take a look at the issue. Well, we're in the process of looking at our present rules and regulations and guidelines in reference to uh, grooming is permissible or not. Chief Sims says a committee to review the department's appearance policy could be in place by next week. The bankrupt Enron Corporation avoids a costly and lengthy legal battle by settling a dispute out of court. The company agreed to pay $127.5 million in a dispute over refinancing notes issued by a 1998 partnership. The notes were meant to refinance part of the purchase price of the top asset in a failed water venture. One candidate running for Houston mayor gets a huge endorsement from the governor. Rick Perry threw his support behind Orlando Sanchez by sending a letter to the governor's Houston area supporters. Perry says Sanchez has worked hard to save taxpayers millions of dollars by challenging wasteful practices in City Hall. The letter also said Sanchez led a successful campaign to cut the city's property taxes for the first time in decades. More Marines are sent to Monrovia to help defend the U.S. Embassy in Liberia. They evacuated embassy staff and others from the American compound. Meantime, desperate Liberians foraged for, good, for food and water during a lull in fighting downtown today. While serious fighting continues in the port area, both sides battle for the country's capital. President Bush has ordered 4,500 American sailors and Marines into positions closer to the West African country. Time now is 7:19. Were the Astros able to continue their winning streak? Also in the works, Lance Armstrong widens the gap in the Tour de France field. Morning Sports is next. Plus, everything's a dollar, but it's not at the dollar store. It's at a local grocery store. And Sky Fox is over the North Loop at Wayside this morning. As you can see, traffic is not a problem there. We'll be right back with more instant traffic and weather when we return. This neighbor feels fenced in by his dog. Every time, you know, you go out to the yard, there's his dog. These are my vicious dogs. Texas Justin. The date is 9.30 on Fox 26. July is the time to bring on the heat. Texas heat. 
from your local Chevy dealer. We've got a huge selection of vehicles. Plus, get an additional $500 bonus cash for $3,500 total cash back on a 2003 Silverado, Suburban, Tahoe, and Trailblazer. Or combine the $500 bonus cash with 0% financing for 60 months. Bring on the Texas heat. Only at your Texas Chevy dealer. Are you looking for an apartment? Would you like to move for free? You can save time and find a great deal on a great place by logging on to moveforfree.com. One, two, three, move for free. One, log on to moveforfree.com. Search for thousands of apartments, condos, and townhomes. Two, visit the property. Listing moveforfree.com as your referring agent. Three, schedule your free move and leave the moving to the professionals. One, two, three, move for free. It's the first address for your next address. Introducing Long John Silver's new bucket of crunchy shrimp. It's a lot of shrimp and it's ready to go. You get 30 of our delicious golden brown bite-sized shrimp in an easy-to-grab bucket. And this bucket is loaded because it's not only 30 of our succulent, juicy bite-sized shrimp, but it's fries, hush puppies, and a drink, all for just $3.99. So grab them, pop them, and run with them and bring your appetite along for the ride. It's the new 30-piece bucket of crunchy shrimp combo and it's only at Long John Silver's. Dive into something new. Morning weather, bring a shine, you're on the roof with Max Levine. Good morning, the sun is low in the sky, it's a bright morning here in Houston, also bright down along the coast. Right now the Galveston Cam showing us a beautiful shine off the seawall. There are those calm Gulf waters. Good news that uh, tropical depression we were watching the Caribbean has weakened, is now just a tropical wave. There are no advisories off of Galveston, but a small craft caution off of Matagorda. South winds at 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 4 feet. The bay water is slightly choppy to choppy. And the beach water temps 85. High tide coming up this morning at 10 o'clock. And a low tide about 6.40 p.m. Your fox cast a slight chance of rain late this evening, 96. And then tonight a 30% chance of rain, 75. Tomorrow, cold front approaches from the north. Could see mostly cloudy skies and a 40% chance of rain and slightly cooler temperatures with the clouds and some rain. It's now time for instant traffic with Aaron Anthony. I just love the glasses. Good morning, everyone. Our stall 18 wheeler over on the side of the road. You will find it I-45. That's the North Freeway. It's southbound at Shepherd. Still look for slows as you continue on to the 610 North Loop. Expect delays if you traveling from Lockwood to 59. That's I-10, the Baytown East Freeway. And 59, of course, will slow for you at the West Loop. Our instant traffic view of 59, again, at the West Loop. Left-hand side of your screen is northbound traffic approaching 610. And watch for slows there or be prepared to slow. Elsewhere around town, Looking a little bit better over there. That's 288, the South Freeway at Holmes Road. That's instant traffic. Now back to you. A major grocery chain delves into the dollar store business right here in Houston. Kroger has just opened another store featuring dollar aisles. The company chose Houston as a test market because of the growth of the dollar store market in the city. Kroger says so far the dollar aisles have been well received. A new internet music download site for PCs makes its debut today. BuyMusic.com boasts the cheapest per song rates yet. And although the online retailers offer a catalog of more than 300,000 songs from the five major record labels, users of the service will not necessarily have the freedom to transfer the music purchased to multiple computers and portable devices or to burn them onto CDs. Now, Fox 26 Sports. The Astros face the Pirates for the last time this year, and it won't be soon enough. Houston has lost five of the last seven to Pittsburgh, including Monday's game. The Pirates managed to cool down the red-hot Astros with a 5-3 victory. Lance Armstrong surged back into the first place in the Tour de France bicycle race, winning stage 15. Armstrong rode back hard from a hard fall when a spectator's handbag snagged his handlebars. He climbed back aboard and pedaled to his first stage victory of the Tour. Armstrong started the day with only a 15-second lead, but after Monday's stage, stretched out to a more comfortable one minute and seven seconds over the second-place rider. I think he's going to win it. Keep our fingers if I crossed. was a betting person, I would bet on him. <laughs> the time now is 7.25. We're working to bring you updates on the morning's top stories. It's been months since her dramatic rescue, but this morning, former POW Jessica Lynch is finally headed home. Plus... A grandfather is accused of an unthinkable crime, and a four-year-old girl is allegedly his victim. 
I'm Lanny Griffith. Meet my friend Toby here and the beautiful Swiss chalet that Toby lives in. It's a beautiful backdrop here for a dog's resort. Stay with us. If a 60,000 horsepower submarine can run silently, why can't your truck? GMC, we are professional grade. Fox 26 meteorologist Matt Levine. Mornings on Fox 26 News. It's back to school with the right shoes at the right price from Academy. Academy Sports and Outdoors. The right stuff, the right price. The coolest styles, the hottest brands for back to school. A huge selection at everyday low prices. Brands like Nike, New Balance, Skechers, Reebok, Adidas, K-Swiss. Miles of styles for back to school right now at Academy Sports and Outdoors. The right stuff, the right price. Academy. Herman and Sherman Smith lost 100 pounds each with the help of Subway low-fat sandwiches and exercise. For seven months, we ate nothing but Subway. Seven tasty sandwiches under six grams of fat, like the turkey breast with honey mustard sauce on fresh baked bread. Everybody thinks we look better. Subway, eat fresh. Hi there. Hi there. Two adults, two kids. You got it. That's $48. All righty. Oh, now we're up to 54. Right. <laughs> $59. What? Okay, now we're at 65. 65. Well, how can it just go up like that? I know. Uh, hang on. Uh, $85. Yeah. Do you have a credit card? I don't think I do. $100. What? Okay, $120. I got it, I got it, I got it. Wow, $150. Here, just take it all. Is this what it feels like paying your Reliant Electric bill? Enjoy the game. They've increased the rate three times in the last 18 months. And when the rate goes up, the whole bill goes up. Introducing Energy America, part of a company with nearly 1 million customers in Texas. With our guaranteed rate plan, your rate won't go up for the next year. This year, current customers will save an average of $200 over Reliant. $36, please. $42 dollar hot dog is here. Call or visit us online. Switch now and get a free $25 gift card to the Home Depot. $700. Who needs a hot dog? Daring, inspiring. Of all the thrilling lines on the Nissan Altima, this may be the most interesting. The bottom line at the Nissan National Sales Event. It's an extraordinary time to get the new Nissan Altima. Intelligently equipped and available with a great lease, now just $219 a month. But hurry, July 31st is the end of the line. Coming up at 8 a.m., a cartoon depicting President Bush's assassination is drawing a lot of controversy. We'll have that story. Plus, two attacks on the U.S. Embassy in Liberia. Should we send troops to the West African region? We'll weigh in at 8. I'm Maria Todd. Kiss is headed to Houston, but they've got you covered now. The tale's coming up in my entertainment scoop. Good morning once again, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jose Grignan. And I'm Talzin Alfonso. The top stories at 7.30 are straight ahead. But let's get an instant check of weather and instant traffic, beginning with Matt Levine on the roof. It's heating up in an instant on the roof. The sun is up. It's bright. It's going to be a hot day here in Houston, but maybe some relief as early as tomorrow. Right now, the Fox Cam showing a very hazy day out there. Very humid as well. A nice morning. Just crank the AC on high. As you head eastbound and down with the maps in motion, we're looking at clear skies around the state. However, look to the north around the Red River. There is a cold front coming down, and you can see severe watch boxes now across portions of Missouri and Arkansas. That front is headed toward Texas and headed toward Houston. Won't push on through, but it may get close enough to cool us down a little bit with clouds and rain. 70s and 80s ahead of the front. Right now, it's almost 80 at Bush. Our forecast high about 96 degrees, only a 20% chance of rain late today, but a 40% chance of showers by tomorrow. Now time for a look at instant traffic with Aaron. Hey, you lost the glasses. I like those. Good morning, everyone. Got a few more problems on the roadway. Watch for an accident. It is 249 at the North Sam Houston Tollway. That stall 18 wheeler still on the side of the road. 45 It's southbound at Shepherd. Look for slows to the 610 North Loop. And you'll also find a delay because of a disabled vehicle over on the 610 West Loop. Let's go to our instant traffic view of that. You'll find it on the West Loop. It is northbound and near Bel Air. You'll see that he's stranded over there on the side of the road. Please be careful as you travel elsewhere around town. You're looking at the Katy Freeway at the Heights inside the loop. Traffic there looking smooth. That's it in traffic. Nice check in once more with Belinda in Skybox. And we're in North Houston, just off of the North Freeway at East Burr as you're looking at an apartment complex. Now, if you look very closely in the rear of this complex, you can see a little bit, a little bit of a hint of some faint smoke coming out of this back complex. 
Now, we haven't been able to see flames or anything yet, but people are standing around looking and the fire crews are on the scene as we speak. Several fire trucks. Now, this might cause a little bit of a problem on the North Freeway because, as I said, this is directly off of the North Freeway. As you can see, the fire trucks are lined up on the feeder road, actually taking up a right lane here. And as people pass by, they're slowing down to look and see what the action again is. Now, this is a, an apartment complex here off the North Freeway at East Burrs. And as I said, we have been able to see just a little bit of smoke. Fire crews are reacting to this, trying to figure out exactly where it's coming from. And if there is a fire, they'll work to put that out. We'll try to stay on top of this a little bit longer and see if there is an actual fire here. And we'll bring you an update as soon as we can. Live in Skyfox, I'm Melinda Brandt, Fox 26 News. This morning, the American flags are up and yellow ribbons are tied in bows, awaiting the return of former POW Jessica Lynch. The Army private is making her journey home to Palestine, West Virginia today. Skip Lozier has the details on this developing story. PFC Jessica Lynch finally goes home this afternoon. I think it'd be really nice. Back to her parents' house in Palestine, West Virginia. It's been newly renovated by friends and townsfolk to make it easier for Lynch to recover from multiple broken bones and other injuries suffered when her convoy was ambushed by Iraqis March 23rd. It's amazing that she went and done that for our country and our state and our community. And I just, I'm really proud of her. Lynch will be flown by helicopter from Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington to Elizabeth, West Virginia. Officials say she will make a brief public statement there, the first since her capture and subsequent rescue from an Iraqi hospital. From Elizabeth, Lynch returns to her hometown by military motorcade with friends, flags, and yellow ribbons lining the way. If I were in her shoes, I think it would be too much for me. Lynch was in a supply convoy ambushed after it got lost near on Nazaria. Now she's back in much more familiar surroundings. The whole community is like a family, and it, I don't know her personally, but she's a work county and she's part of the county. Yesterday, Lynch was awarded the Purple Heart, the Bronze Star, and the POW Medal. That was Skip Lozier reporting. And locally, we are continuing to follow the developing story of a missing child. Patty Shea joins us now with the news that he's been found safe and sound. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, Jose and Talzin. Good morning, everyone. As you can imagine, great relief for our Dickinson family. Relatives of five-year-old Christopher Byerly knew who he was with, just not where. Daryl Ray Shaver, a family friend, was with the child Monday morning, but hadn't been seen since. This morning, the 29-year-old was found at his grandmother's home, with Christopher sleeping nearby. It was never a question of whether my, my stepson was being hurt, abused in any way. It's not clear if Shaver will be charged in connection with this case because he apparently did have permission from Christopher's family. A grandfather sits behind bars accused of molesting a four-year-old girl. 73-year-old Marcelino Monreal turned himself in last week and has now been charged with aggravated sexual assault of a child. The alleged attack happened in Dickinson in January. It appeared to be easy pickings for burglars targeting the Pecan Grove subdivision of Fort Bend County. At least six residents who had left their cars unlocked woke up Saturday to find wallets, purses, cash, and briefcases missing from their vehicles. A $1,000 reward is being offered if you can help catch their person or persons responsible. Call Fort Bend County Crime Stoppers, 281-342-TIPS. Potential welding problems with some of its school buses forces the Houston Independent School District to pull them off the road. Now HISD is able to take advantage of buses already ordered by other organizations who weren't going through with their contracts to buy 87 new buses to be added to the fleet this school year. And you can join Fox 26 in making sure Houston area children have all the supplies they need for the new school year. It's time for Operation School Supplies. So we've teamed up with HEB, Coca-Cola, the United Way, and the University of Houston alumni for the annual drive. You can donate by purchasing Coke products at HEB or making a cash donation at the checkout. Well, in this dog-eat-dog -dog world, you can still get a good deal. In honor of its 80th anniversary, James Coney Island dishes up prices from 1923, and that means... Five cent hot dogs, 10 cent Coke's chips, plus 15 cent bowls of chili. The doggone good prices are available today from 10.30 a.m. until 6 p.m. at their Dallas location in downtown Houston. Race you there. Jose and Talzin, back to you guys. So, Patty, what you're saying is you're going to go ahead and buy us lunch, right? Uh, you know, today, of all days, I could afford it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Patty, thanks so much. You bet. Our time now is 7.35.
Still much more in the works on Fox 26 Morning News. Including another reason for you to get that mold out of your house. It may mean breathing problems for your baby. Plus, how much water is too much? Stay tuned for an answer that could have some deadly consequences. Expect to see less of American Idol Judge Randy Jackson next season. We'll tell you what's going on. And our instant traffic update shows some freeways moving smoothly. American Idol wannabes say they've got the talent. <laughs> But can they escape the wrath of our judges? Next, Ricky. Today at 10 on Fox 26. From Walt Disney Pictures, one mother. You think my life is perfect? One daughter. You couldn't last one day in my shoes. One Friday. Cookie. That will change everything. You're in my body and I'm in your body. I'm like the Crypt Keeper. On August 6th. My wedding's tomorrow. I can't marry Ryan. You will believe in magic. When what you see is what you lack, then selfless love will change your back. Freaky Friday. Why don't we like adults? Rated PG. Starts August 6th. Coming to Lifetime this August. Everything happens for a reason. Zoe left Las Vegas looking for the truth. You lied to protect somebody who killed my sister. What she found was a career uncovering and investigating fraud. I've got good instincts and I can read people. And a brand new home. Promise me you won't embarrass me. That is going to be so hard. Jolie Fisher stars in a new Lifetime original series. I gotta go be an adult. Wild Card. Coming in August to Lifetime. Check your local listings. Listen, a medical mistake. It happened to you. Your child was injured at birth because of a hospital or doctor's negligence. You're left with tragic results because of a failure to diagnose cancer. A so-called routine surgery has caused death or disability. If you or someone you love has suffered a medical mistake, call board-certified lawyer Terry Bryant and tell him what happened to you. 713-973-8888. Paradise Hotel is on Tuesday. Be there when the game changes completely. It's going to be at the home stretch here. There's going to be some drama. Because when one of the original girls is sent packing, emotions boil over. No matter what happens, I'm in a horrible position. Paradise Hotel. Tonight at 8 on Fox 26. Good morning. Time now is 7.38. Watch for a stalled a truck. It is on the Gulf or North Freeway. You'll find it at Shepard. And a fender bender. It's 249 at the North Ham Houston Tollway. Our instant traffic view of a stalled vehicle. West Loop is northbound at Bel Air. That's instant traffic. I'm Erin Anthony in the Fox 26 Traffic Center. Morning weather. Rain or shine. You're on the road. Okay, the maps in motion show encouraging signs for maybe cooler and wetter weather. The front is moving just to the north of us. Stressful heat today with the heat index above 100. But tomorrow, front draws closer, doesn't push on through. Scattered showers are possible, 40% chance. Cooler with the clouds and rain, but hot once again for your weekend. Only a 20% chance of rain late today, 30% tonight. Tomorrow, 40%, mostly cloudy, slightly cooler with a high of 93 Live from the roof, I'm meteorologist Matt Levine. Media mogul Russell Simmons broadens his reach from hip-hop music to politics. So that tops the Fox Entertainment report. Simmons wants New York lawmakers to do something about old drug laws that mean long jail sentences for first-time drug offenders for minor violations. And while he also plans to register thousands of young people to vote, he has no plans to run for office. The young hip-hop artist Bow Wow schedules a benefit for a group called Computers for Youth. Bow Wow likes computers and wants other kids to have the chance to have them too. The organization gives home computers to inner city children. Bow Wow says he's a computer addict and every young person deserves to have a computer at home. Every week, dog, doing your thing. Another report Sign says we can expect to see thing. much less of Randy Jackson. This time, Inside Edition is reporting that the American Idol judge has gone under the knife to lose weight. 
Inside Edition says he has had gastric bypass surgery. Jackson just says he's taken some serious steps to improve his health and may appear lighter very soon. Be interesting to see the new lighter Randy Jackson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time now is 740. So much more in the works on Fox 26 Morning News. A man dies in his wife's arms while she's on the phone with 911. But when we found out how long it took the ambulance to arrive, Fox 26 investigates. I'm Lanny Griffith. We're in the lap of luxury with this Swiss chalet backdrop for a luxury suite that a dog would love. And I'd kind of like to live in here, too. There's Toby, our friend. Hi, Toby. About to make your way into downtown and need to know what freeways are having problems this morning? Stay up to date with instant traffic on Fox 26 News. This news segment is brought to you by your Lexus dealers. The Lexus LS, for the seventh year in a row, ranked the highest premium luxury sedan in initial quality by J.D. Power & Associates. No other sedan has ever been so honored, which might help explain why its owners consider it simply the best luxury sedan in the world. The Lexus LS, at your Houston area Lexus dealer. Hi. She doesn't look like a gangster. You don't tell me what to do. Well, how about this? I'll kill you. Oh, come on. She doesn't seem like a hitman. Cutting off his thumb was a dumb request. Hello. But on August 1st... Don't get yourself all tied in a knot. She's calling the shots. Are you driving me crazy? Maybe it's because, you know, I can kick you. Dad! Friend of yours? Sheely, rated R. In theaters everywhere August 1st. First mortgage interest rates can change daily, but there's one place that guarantees your rate won't change. You got the green light. The rate you see is the rate you'll pay. And the closing cost, $995. No points, no other fees. Lock in this great deal now at 866-66-FASTER. 866-66-FASTER. You got the green light. Hi, I'm Tom from Reliant Energy. We've been roping in high energy costs in Houston for years. Get on a bowl. Do you have an extra hat or a... We find you one. Warm them up, and then I'll take them out for a spin. Can you make a bowl here? Yeah, sure. OK, OK. Good He's time. good. He's fine. You rely on your horse, well, you can rely on us. Why'd you step around here? Oh. Saving, service, Reliant Energy, your reliable choice. Houston, without us on, it's just hot. Turn on digital and bring on the cool summer fun. No more driving around in the heat blowing big bucks on movies, CDs, and snacks. All the fun will be wired right into your own TV. You'll get movie channels, learning channels, music, and so much more. Right now, digital installation is only $4.95. Add Showtime with Showtime On Demand, and you'll get a $50 rebate. That's like getting three months of Showtime free. So get digital at your house. You'll stay cool and save a ton. Good morning, everybody. You're looking at some live pictures of those tall buildings in the nation's fourth largest city. Time now is 744 on this Tuesday, July 22nd, and you are watching Houston's only live local newscast at 7 a.m. It was a horrifying moment for a Fort Bend County woman. Her husband was clearly in trouble after suffering a heart attack. She did the obvious and called 911, but it, did t but it didn't take too long for help to come. Only on Fox, a 911 call that parents may not want little ones to hear. Fox 26 Investigates, Randy Wallace explains. This is a relatively new subdivision in Sugarland, but it's not difficult to find. It's right off the Grand Parkway near 59. So why would it take 18 minutes for an ambulance to arrive after a call is made to 911? That question haunts a woman who recently buried her 45-year-old husband. She's my big helper. She always does the dishes. Since May 19th, Zahora Museli has become both mother and father to her five-year-old daughter, Sophia. On the last day of his life, Rod Museli and his wife were planning their daughter's upcoming birthday. Zahora says Rod got up from the couch and went into the bathroom. She then heard him collapse on the floor. And I grabbed the phone right away, and I called 911 immediately. 
strong man. Zohara tells the 911 operator her husband just had a heart attack. Help me. Help me. She screams for an ambulance. They're coming, okay, Benny? And it's off me. Is he breathing or not? Oh, You're sure he's not breathing? And I kept saying, you know, where is the ambulance? When is it going to come? She said, no, it's coming. It's coming. Zahora remains on the line. Some four minutes later, she asks, when will the ambulance arrive? I'm floating like that. I'm floating. Yeah, they're already coming, okay? But well, I'm going to keep you on the phone, okay? Rod had fallen face down, and the 911 operator instructs Zahora to turn him over so she can perform CPR. Oh, I take him so long. They're coming, okay? They're, they're coming. Oh, my God. Oh my God. With the clock ticking, Zahora manages to give Rod CPR, but he stops breathing. He's still making noises, right? No, he's not making noises. Is he breathing again? No, he stopped, no. Okay. No, oh my God. Almost 12 minutes after calling 911, Zahora screams for an ambulance again. Several minutes later, Zahora asks again. Where is that ambulance? Where is that? They're in the area, okay? They're just looking for the house. Oh, my God. He's not, not, he's not breathing. He's not breathing. I'm not breathing. I need to collapse for you tomorrow. Zahora believes Rod was dead when the ambulance arrived, 18 minutes after she called 911. Her neighbor, who came in after the ambulance arrived, says she saw paramedics cover Rod's face with a sheet. When Naya was taking her out, they had covered his face. Both women say they watched in horror as paramedics dragged Rod by his arms from the bedroom to the living room. Even a person is dead or alive, you don't just drag him like that. Zahora blames the paramedics' alleged insensitivity after they arrived on race. He's Arab, she's Pakistani. First, you didn't save his life. You didn't help him, didn't give him medical attention. And then next thing, you just dragged him like that, like a dead cow? In front of me, in front of his wife? The director of the Fort Bend County EMS initially told us 18 minutes is not an acceptable response time. He declined our request for an on-camera interview. However, Fort Bend County officials assure us they are investigating. Sugarland police say their goal is to respond to emergency calls in less than five minutes. Randy Wallace, Fox 26, investigates. New research shows high fungus levels in the home can cause breathing problems, even pneumonia, for infants. That tops the Fox Health Works this morning. Mold occurs in damp locations, but the new research shows that it can be a problem even when the entire house is dry. A Harvard study looked at 499 children with at least one allergic parent. The researchers evaluated the effect of domestic fungal levels on breathing problems in the first year of life. College students who stress out during tests are more likely to have acne flare-ups, according to a new study. Experts from the Stanford University School of Medicine say the data suggests that emotional stress from external sources could influence the severity of acne. Acne is the most common skin disease treated by dermatologists. Health experts advise drinking eight glasses of water a day, but too much H2O while exercising can be bad for you. South African researcher Tom Noakes says it can even be deadly. Noakes says when you lose salt through sweating, water you drink can cause your brain to swell. He says when exercising, you should only drink enough to quench your thirst, about 14 to 28 ounces per hour. Now for the latest from Sky Fox, we go live to Melinda Brand. Good morning once again, Melinda. Good morning, Toslin. We are actually en route to go check out. We just got a ro uh, word of a major accident that dropped on the south loop near Colon. They were calling for rescue vehicles and ladder trucks, so we're going to go check that out and try to bring that to you. As soon as we get on the scene, we'll bring you that. For now, though, let's go to Erin Anthony. She's got more on traffic around town. Erin? Well, right now I've got a couple of stalls and an accident. The accident is over on 249. It is near the North Sam Houston Tollway. The stall 18 wheeler still sits I-45 South down at Shepherd, and watch for the stall over on the 6th and West Loop North down at Bel Air. Our instant traffic view of the roadway, Katy Freeway, North Post Oak, it's looking good elsewhere around town. You're looking at the West Loop at Bel Air. Actually, there was a disabled vehicle in that last shot. That's instant traffic. Now let's check in with Matt. He's got weather.
Yesterday, we were watching a new depression forming uh, east of the Caribbean near the Lesser Antilles. It has weakened so much, it's now a tropical wave. Things in Galveston reflecting that calm condition off there. Basically, very quiet for Galveston. Sunny and hot. Highs in the island, the lower to mid 90s today. Inland, the mid to upper 90s. So, some hot weather here in Houston, but hopefully, some relief by tomorrow with a cold front. Now, here's that. Uh, the depression we were watching right over the Caribbean, it kind of fizzled out, lost its character overnight. So basically, everything is quiet in the tropics. Nothing to report as far as depressions or tropical storms. A slight chance of rain today, 96, 40 percent by tomorrow with the cold front, 93. And then drying out, 20 percent chance of rain toward the weekend with highs back in the mid-90s, lows back in the middle 70s. Live from the roof, I'm meteorologist Matt Levine. Now back down to the studio. And right now you're looking at a major accident on the South Loop at Cullen. Melinda Brandt has more on that. Melinda. Toslin, we just made it onto the scene, and as you can see, there is several cars that look to be involved in this accident, and it looks like this SUV has kind of turned around and collided with yet another. Now, I can tell you again, so I haven't had a lot of time to sit and observe to see what has happened here. But traffic is extremely backed up. Their traffic is only getting by on two of the right lanes of the South Loop as you are headed uh, westbound, actually. And right now it's backed up to 45. Again, this is South Loop near Colon. And as you can see, they did call for a rescue truck. However, with us just getting on the scene, we have yet to see them do anything or trying to rescue anyone. From the looks of it, it doesn't look as though anyone is trapped at the moment. However, as I said, we just got on the scene. We're going to stay on top of it. We'll bring you more information a little later on. Live in Skybox, I'm Melinda Brandt, Fox 26 News. Well, here's an idea for the Fox 26 uh, summer free zone, and that is something that uh, Lanny's taking care of, but it's not really free right now. Right. Right now, we want to go to Lanny Griffith. He's with Rover Oaks right now, where dogs can get a nice little treat. Yeah, it's a little dog resort here. Well, not really little. It's a very big dog resort, and they have luxury suites to put, you know, little Fido in. This is Jim Burrell. This luxury suite we're looking at, Jim, is uh, entitled Roman Holiday. Can you tell us about it? Roman Holidays is sponsored by Marianne Ehrlich and uh, C.S. Pennywell. They decided on a Roman theme for their dog, Samantha, mm -hmm. thus Samantha's Roman holiday. I love how the columns on the wall match directly in front of the uh, bed here, so it's like almost seamless, except there is a bed there. Of course, you bet, and the dogs love uh, either laying on the bed or hopping down on the floor for playtimes. And do these dogs get to go to day camp? They absolutely do, you bet. If they're approved for day camp activities, they get to go to day camp right after breakfast. And day camp, you take them out like at 8 in the morning and... Take them out after their breakfast if they've been boarding here and uh, put them up by 4 o'clock uh, for their evening meal. And they get to start over the next day and do the same thing again. What a pampered life. Are you sure I can't rent out one of these rooms just for an afternoon nap? I think we could work one out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jose and Tazan, is this not beautiful or what? Oh, it definitely is. How much does this cost? Just curious. Um, about $30 a day. And then if you add, you know, grooming and maintenance, and if you want to go, go to day camp, you can add more to it. But it starts off around 30 bucks a day. Not too but bad. they're full through... Mid-September. Yeah, mid-September. This place stays hopping all the time. All right, great. It's Lanny, thanks dull. so much. Okay. Now, here's an idea for the Fox 26 Summer Free Zone. Now, instead of getting something for free you can give something for free. Now you can make a difference in the lives of terminally ill patients and their families. AMED Community Hospice needs volunteers in Harris, Galveston, Brazoria, and Chambers counties. Training is free and hours are flexible to meet your schedule. Call 1-800-377-7260 or call 409-935-0169 for more information. But coming up a little sooner, at 8 a.m., your chance to win something the entire family can enjoy. A free family four-pack to Astro World. Now, those were some great summer ideas. If you know of any others, please tell us, and we'll make it part of our Summer Free Zone. Email us at summerfreezone at fox26.com. Stay tuned for the Fox 26 Summer Free Zone all summer on Fox 26 Morning News. 7.55, still ahead, Martha Stewart wants to know who can't keep their mouth shut. Also in the works, do you drive a General Motors car or truck? The company wants to give loyal customers a bonus. And our top stories are just minutes away, including the rising cost of a college education. Coming up at 8 a.m., alternative ways to fund a college education. And we'll talk to a local pastor who proves that success could be just a scholarship away. 
and you're looking at an accident on the south loop near Cullen. The backup to that accident goes all the way to 45 at this time. We don't know if there are any injuries, but as soon as we get an update, we'll bring it to you. Stay with us.